Do you like communicating with people? Are you a social butterfly? Well, have I got the place for you. Because I have started a Discord server for my channel. If you're interested in joining to talk with people who are fans of me, my friends, or me, please, the link is in the description. Feel free to join. Uh, invite your buddies. I don't care. It's a community Discord, and we're going to see how far we can take it. We'll go from there, whatever. How's it going, boys? I'm Poet, and today we're beating Mythrix without using my primary skill. And I don't just mean Mythrix. I mean all of the stages, up to and including Mythrix. First and foremost, I'm setting my keybind from my mouse button to number pad 9. Why did I say mouse button like that? I'm setting it to number pad 9 because it will be a nuisance for me to actually press it if I get the little urge to cheat. Speaking of cheating, I don't plan on cheating during this because I really just want to do this for fun. I'm, I'm a big challenge guy. Um, that sounded terrible. Oh my. I, I like video game challenges, okay? I, I like watching the little YouTube videos with them. I like trying them. Um, I'm not really good at them, but I, I just like to try it. I uh, also want to flex on my friends, but that's besides the point. Let's get started. I decided to run two artifacts, those being the artifact of command and the artifact of swarms. Command is so I can kind of optimize this run and like pick my items and make it a, a tiny bit easier. And Swarms is just so I can make a little extra money and maybe even add a little bit more of a challenge to this. My first attempt started a little rocky because I wasn't used to not having my primary skill. I also was unaware that killing an enemy with my special ability as Bandit pretty much reset the cooldown for the ability. I don't know how I missed this because I've been playing Bandit for a majority of the time I've played Risk of Rain 2. But even with me missing that, this ability was going to carry my entire run. I just didn't know it yet. I started collecting some items, took out a bunch of enemies, got to the boss, and then I, um, yeah, I, I died. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. I need to get But despite how upset I sounded, I was not going to give up that easily. Attempt two started out with me gambling a lot on Shrine of Chances. And God, let me tell you, I love gambling. I love gambling. I really wanted to prioritize getting backup mags and getting a lot more health and more regenerative pickups. That way an incident like the first run wouldn't ever happen again. Oh, we called his homies in. Wait, what the f- I can use the, the revolver multiple times in a row? As long as I hit my- Oh my god! And that was pretty much the entirety of stage one. Stage two was pretty easy as well. The Beetle Queen was the stage boss, and with the extra damage items I picked up with that stage, uh, along with the missile launcher equipment crate, I pretty much nuked the boss in 19 seconds. Yeah. I counted that. Be proud of me, alright? I, I usually can't count that. However, stage 3 is where I started throwing. And if you're enjoying watching me throw, then consider liking the video. Maybe even subscribing to watch me fail in future videos. Real talk, I love making videos like this one. Uh, challenge videos, like I said, are my favorite thing to do. Entertaining you guys and making people laugh is something that uh, brings me so, so, so much joy. I can never be a comedian, but I sure as hell might be able to be a YouTuber. And I'd love it if you guys gave me the chance to become one. Just think about it, and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. What I love less than making these kinds of videos, though, is Risk of Rain 2, apparently. Because while recording this, I realized I have less than 50 hours on the game. And for some reason unknown to me, I thought that now... While I was trying to do a challenge would be a really good time to experiment with items that I wasn't quite sure what they did. And let me tell you, that was a huge mistake. Uh, I'm not going to pick the bandolier, just feel like that's not good. Critical strikes increase attack speed, it stacks three times. Uh... I started to pick up items that boosted my primary skill damage rather than doing things for my health or my secondary skill or my special skill and uh, believe me when I tell you this will bite me in the ass. 
Already, my poor choices began to show, and the Clay Doonstrider stage boss almost killed me multiple times here. My healing drones are getting absolutely nuked from the ground. I'm down to only one. I started with like four, I think. Nothing really happened in stage four except for me getting through it. And then when I got to stage five, I was pretty much in a shitstorm immediately. There was a mini boss that spawned, and there were enemies out the ass everywhere. Shit! Why are there so many? The first like five minutes of this place was devoted just to trying to kill the mini boss, and I didn't. Because focusing on him, the regular ads killed me. And not just any regular ad, a child. Oh my god, no! Oh. We were so close. I was killed by a child? I was not happy here. I decided to take the rest of the day and um, go to work, actually. I was, I was trying to beat it before I went to work and it just didn't really, it obviously didn't really pan out. But I took the rest of the day, went to work, and I came back the next morning ready to go. Let's get it. And somehow, right from the start, this run was looking quite juicy. Ooh, okay, all right. Oh, holy shit, okay. Set myself up for future success here. It's over, I've won. See, with these three items that I just picked up, my damage output would be through the roof, and I would be able to just mop everything up in my way. So that's what I started to do. Oh, never mind. Easy dub. I was absolutely cleaning house, and 30 minutes into this run, I was on stage five. I probably would have been there a lot sooner had I um, not gambled. I don't have a problem, I don't have a problem. I just, you know, it's the flashing lights and the little sounds, they're just really cool. When I but before I knew it, it was time to fight the big men himself. Wait, big men? Like plural? Oh shit. Yeah, remember the artifact of swarms? Yeah, that applies to Mythrix too. I forgot. But I hadn't come this far to lose now. Oh my god. It's over. Thank god. 
You know, despite my immediate reaction to winning this little challenge, if you would, I uh, had a lot of fun. I, I, I quite enjoyed it, actually. I'm usually not very creative with challenges that I do, but I'm glad I came up with this one, and I'm glad it actually kind of worked out so well for me. I'm glad that's over. Ugh. I think I'd like to do this kind of thing in the future again uh, with random items turned on and just see how far I can make it on RNGesus' luck. But I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready for that psychological torture yet. What kind of challenges do you guys like though? I'm interested to hear about how you switch up the gameplay loop on your favorite games. Not even just Risk of Rain 2. Any game on earth, how do you guys challenge yourself in them? Let me know in the comments below. That's all I've got for today though guys, now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go for a little drive to clear my head.